Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain TV. His Royal Highness at the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa paid a field visit to the Labour Market Regulatory Authority in the presence of Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. His the achievements made through developing and organizing the labor market require continued efforts in order for Bahrain to become a leading example in organizing labor markets. He said that these efforts came under the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to continue creating opportunities to improve the living standards of people. His Royal Highness pointed out that the modern systems recently approved by the Council of Ministers should come into effect through simple procedures to add to the success of Bahrain's experience in organizing and developing the labor market, which included the establishment of several specialized institutions and adapting international standards in the kingdom. He stated that the authority is considered one of the most important institutions whose role is to develop systems which support investments in the private sector. Some of its major achievements are the recently approved laws and regulations which have supported or supported the economic development and resulted in the increase of the number of commercial records. His Royal Highness said that taking pride in these accomplishments should be a accompanied by dedication and determination to maintain the rights and benefits of the three production branches, the government, employers and employees, as well as to enhance the level of coordination to ensure more success. He said that implementing control systems in order to guarantee more outcome should be accompanied by smooth procedures and re of the culture of customer service. He pointed out that constant review and periodic evaluation is necessary in order to ensure customer satisfaction and enhanced supervision. Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa took part in a joint ministerial meeting between the GCC, US and UK foreign ministers, as well as the UN Secretary General Special Envoy for Yemen. The meeting reaffirmed full commitment to the unity of Yemen, respect for its sovereignty and independence, and rejecting any interference in its internal affairs. It also stressed the importance of reaching a political solution in accordance with the GCC initiative, the outcome of the Comprehensive National Dialogue Conference, and the unconditional implementation of Security Council Resolution 2216. Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa chaired a joint ministerial meeting between the GCC states and the French Republic on the sidelines of the UN General Assembly meeting in New York. The two sides exchanged views on bolstering relations between the two sides in various fields for the benefit of joint interests. The GCC side affirmed its continued keenness to develop relations with the French Republic and bolster mechanisms and coordination in various gatherings towards regional and international issues of mutual interest. It pointed out the importance of adopting a joint work plan project on strategic dialogue between the two sides, which was agreed on for preparation during the meeting between the GCC foreign ministers and the French foreign minister held in June 2015, establishing the general framework for cooperational fields, including the political and economic fields. Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Prime Minister and His Royal Highness Prince Salman and bin Hamad Al Khalifa Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister to Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas and their wishes to him of good health. This came as the Palestinian President received the Minister of Foreign Affairs on the sidelines of the UN General Assembly meeting in New York where Sheikh Khalid affirmed the kingdom's solid support to the Palestinian cause with the belief in the legitimate rights of the Palestinian people, most importantly the establishment of an independent state with Al-Quds as its capital, and that achieving these rights is the means to ensure security and peace to all countries in the region. 
He affirmed that Bahrain would exert all efforts to contribute to reaching a lasting and comprehensive peace based on the implementation of the relevant UN Security Council resolutions and the Arab Peace Initiative, calling on the international community to take responsibility to provide all types of protection to the Palestinian people and Islamic holy sites, as well as stop all Israeli practices that contradict international norms and laws, religions, principles and human values. The Palestinian president asked the Minister of Foreign Affairs to convey Palestine's appreciation to Bahrain's leadership for their honorable stances in support of the rights of the Palestinian people, affirming that their support represents a key pillar in regaining all Palestinian rights.